Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam Frost here from reviewsboss.com. In this video, I want to talk about a really cool browser extension uh, called Keywords Everywhere. Um, and I've been using Keywords Everywhere for a couple of years now, um, and I've been really, really impressed by it. Uh, basically, it's one of my favorite little tools, and the best thing is it's free. Um, and especially when you consider how much harder it's become with things like uh, Google Keyword Planner, actually restricting uh, keyword volume information to active AdWords advertisers. And basically, you have data that was once really easily available becoming more and more uh, restricted and sort of walled in. Uh, you know, Keywords Everywhere is actually super impressive in light of all that. So what is Keywords Everywhere? It's a browser extension for Chrome and for Firefox. Uh, when I first started using it, I think it was only available for Chrome. Uh, so it's good to see there's a Firefox version available now. And what you do is you just install it, um, go through a really basic setup process, and then you can start seeing really, really good detailed uh, search volume, CPC, and competition data for your favorite websites. Um, it's, it's very, very powerful. Uh, it's easy to install. I've already installed it, so I won't go through the process again. But all you do is just click. Uh, for your relevant browser, uh, whether you're using Chrome or Firefox, and it works on uh, independent of whatever um, operating system you use. So I'm recording this video on a Windows PC, but I also have it set up on a Chromebook, and I've used it on Mac as well. Uh, once you're set up, you will want to get an API key. Um, so you just enter your email address, and um, that's getting you signed up to their newsletter list as well. But I haven't seen too many uh, spammy, crappy emails coming from these guys. So it's definitely worth signing up to get the API key. You need that in order to get all the data. And once you're done, um, what I'll do is talk you through basically what you can do with keywords everywhere. So pretend you've, you've gone away, you've installed it on your Chrome or Firefox, you've set up your AP, API key and you've followed the instructions to configure that correctly. Let's head over to Google um, and actually do some searching. So what am I going to search for today? Uh, Christchurch weather so Christchurch is where I live and if I pull this up I'll start seeing data okay so showing me searches search volume here look search volume 201,000 a month CPC 5 cents competition 0 0.3 uh, we could type something else in um, we'll type in uh, how to lose weight fast because that's a popular kind of search Boom, there we go. Look, 368,000 searches a month. CPC of $1.68, competition of 0.78. And if you noticed, as I type, you'll actually see this data start to appear in the autofill uh, search results as well, which is really cool. And if we scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll also see it here as well. Look, how to lose weight fast in two weeks, 22,000 searches a month, $2.27.38 uh, competition. Lose 10 pounds fast, 9,900 searches a month. Um, really, really cool. You can do all this on Google, um, but it goes one step further than that. Let's open up YouTube as an example. And let's search for something on YouTube, SEO. And you can now see within that particular Google search, uh, or YouTube search, I should say, you can actually see the volume uh, and, and CPC and competition stats. Now, at this stage, I want to make it clear that what you're seeing there is the Google search volume. It's the Google CPC results for AdWords. It's the Google competition. This isn't tapping into some sort of you know YouTube uh, I guess, internal database of, of search volume. This is just simply to give you an indication. So um, don't think that this is necessarily the volume for people searching SEO each month on YouTube, although probably it would be fairly high. I mean, it's a popular topic. So just bear that in mind because also it works on other websites as well. Pretty much anywhere where you have search uh, capability on a big website, you'll be able to get results. So let's go on Amazon and type in, uh, what was I shopping for earlier? DDR4 memory for my computer. So boom, if we open that up, we should start to see results. Yeah. So we can see 3,600 searches a month at 71 cents CPC with competition of one for DDR4 memory. And you can do other things cool as well. You can favorite that search, uh, which is really, really nice. So yeah, really, really cool little functionality there. Um, and basically, you know, it, it works nicely with the key key sort of search engines people use, Google, YouTube, Amazon. I think it works on eBay as well. Um, 
I really just use Google, YouTube, and Amazon primarily. But if I go on eBay and type in, uh, what should I type in? Um, Subaru Legacy. Let's see if we get any search volume. Yeah, there we go. How about that? We get search volume as well. Um, I don't know if it works for every single website in the world with search, but we'll try again. We'll go to Trade Me. That is the New Zealand version. No, so in this particular case, we don't get it. So basically, it's only working on sites that it's programmed into. But there are, on the Keywords Everywhere website, you'll see the list of sites. So if we go back, this is the list of sites. Google Search, Google Trends, eBay, Answer the Public, Keyword Planner, Bing, Etsy, Solville, Google Search Console, YouTube, Uber Suggest, Majestic, Google Analytics, Amazon, Keyword Shitter, and Moz Open Site Explorer. You can get search volume, CPC, and competition data. And the other cool things as well is that you can go and change your settings. If I go into the settings um, and 